Okay guys, we're once again back out in Northwest Illinois. We are gonna head out and go pull our SD card out of our camera. We're gonna go get our stand hung, come back, get our rest of our gear, might even go grab some lunch, and then uh, make our way uh, make our way to the stand for a, uh, for a long night sit. So it's a lot later than I was hoping to get out here again. I work till 11 o'clock at night and uh, it's tough to get out here early mornings uh, with a two and a half hour to three hour drive. So we're gonna, uh, Hit the woods, we'll roll camera in a little bit, so. All right, everyone, it's November 2nd, and we are out in Northwest Illinois. Uh, we took a look at those pictures off the uh, trail camera that we have set up just down the hill from us here, and turns out that that day that we put the camera out, which was the last video um, that I had from out here that day that was real windy and stormy, I had deer in front of that camera less than three hours after I put it out. So I was out on the other side fighting with that ladder stand and hunkering down in the bushes while deer were right here in front of my camera that I had just put out. So go figure, what are you gonna do? Anyways, um, we're set up here, we're right over I-20. You'll be able to hear the cars coming by. I can see them clear as day, but deer cross this road here to come onto our property. So. Uh, I can actually see down into the grass. I'll be able to see the deer come on across the road and everything. So we're gonna, uh, we're gonna sit here till dark and see what happens. Just a, uh, a tip for everybody. If, uh, if you're not carrying a second release with you, when you go out hunting, you need to be. Uh, I'm, I'm using my backup release right now because somewhere between here and the car, I lost my release, so. There's a scrape right up the hill here behind me. My trail camera's right down the hill below me. And we actually had several deer on that camera, a lot of does, a couple small bucks. Uh, no shooter bucks for this property. I do have a 125 minimum on this property. So uh, something comes in that's over 100 and under 125, it's gonna be tough to pass though, beans. I haven't shot a 100 inch buck yet, but we're gonna have to. But hopefully that won't be an issue tonight, so. Give you a little idea of where we're at here. So, 
I've seen a couple squirrels. Probably well over a thousand cars and trucks now. That's it. So, hopefully things will pick up and we'll see what happens. But when or die. Exactly an hour away from last light, so squirrels are out in force. Uh, I've seen probably a half a dozen to a dozen of them just in the last ten minutes. Uh, we're getting a lot of shade through here because we're on the side of a hill, and there's another hill on the other side, so it's probably going to get dark way before uh, artificial time. But we'll see what happens. See, I'm back in the truck and got dressed, packed up, ready to get the heck out of here. Other than uh, a ton of squirrels, didn't see anything, uh, cars, trucks, 18-wheelers, you name it. But uh, unfortunately, no deer. So packed up, going to get out of here. Hopefully going to get out to Lake County again tomorrow. Not positive, though. I've got some stuff i got to do tomorrow, so I'm not sure what the day's going to bring. But uh, either way, we'll be back out next week for sure. And hopefully, hopefully my luck's going to change here. For how much time I've put in this season already, it's got to change pretty soon. So, anyways, for November 2nd from Joe Davies County, that's going to do it for today. Have a good one.